we are all finished with therapy. Everything was 100% teletherapy and you did so great with all these strategies. Um, if you had any feedback for anyone that's maybe apprehensive about doing 100% teletherapy or just any um, uh, overall feedback on how your experience with um, teletherapy went during this time. Yeah. So um, when, uh, when we started doing uh, speech therapy for Grayson, um, I had a lot of expectations. Um, we have uh, had services for him before, uh, you know, physical therapy, and um, we also did um, occupational therapy for him. And so we had, you know, people come into the house and, um, you know, provide services for him, uh, you know, working one-on-one -on -one with him. Um, and so when we learned that we would be doing a completely virtual um, speech therapy for him, we kind of thought like, well, how is this going to work, right? Like, is he going to get that same interaction? Is he going to be getting the same like level of uh, like quality um, experience? Or is it going to be this like really cold, you know, computer screen, you know, low quality video? Like what, how is he going to, um, react to it. Um, and what quickly became apparent was that um, the teletherapy is just as much for him as it was for my wife and I. Um, you know, he would be able to join us and we'd be able to interact with him. Uh, and, you know, he would be able to engage in um, a lot of these exercises and learn. Um, but as his um, attention span kind of wavered back and forth or um, changed. Uh, it was nice to be able to just kind of focus on, um, you know, learning those tools for myself so that I can teach them to Grayson. Um, the, the teletherapy, you know, an hour a week is, is really, it's not that much. Um, it's, uh, you know, it goes by really quick. And, you know, it's, it's fairly inconsistent as far as, you know, you have six other days in the week where he's not receiving teletherapy, but what he is receiving is that those same exercises and those same sets of, of teaching skills from us, from his parents. And I think that that's really the key to um, this teletherapy thing is that he's really getting, um, that that learning experience his teacher is is not just his speech therapist but it's his parents um really i feel like we've learned so many really effective successful skills um that we've been able to pass on to him um you know because we might have you know 20 minutes of him being able to pay attention in um you know a, a session but then we're able to take that 20 minutes and multiply it by, you know, hundreds of minutes and hours throughout the week. Um, you know, as soon as I walk in through the door, coming home from work, I'm able to start uh, working with them and talking and playing and, um, you know, exercising those things from, you know, the moment I get home from work to the moment he goes to bed, he's getting, you know, a few hours a day of speech therapy rather than just a, you know, a handful of minutes. Um, and it's really been a huge blessing. Um, I really feel like, He's been able to, hi Bubba. <laughs> I feel like he's been able to um, really learn and grow um, this way. And um, I feel like I've learned and grown a ton um, in ways that I, I, he would not have gotten that if it was just, you know, an in-person thing. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like I, my involvement would have been a lot less um, had somebody just been coming into my home. I've had to put a lot more effort into, um, you know, these appointments and uh, making sure that I'm getting these tools and learning um, so that he's able to have the, um, the most candid of this experience.